We are searching for a death trap, but even here where killing is commonplace, the predator we seek prefers the most callous means. Wire traps that sever and strangle without discrimination. This is where a snare. Okay, stand for you. For sure. Imagine that eh, wild beast come for grazing grass. Enter in the head one step. You just eh, snared. These are the snare hunters, untangling the traps even as the poachers watch them. The people, okay, on the hills, they have already hiding themselves. They do it to stop this. Wildebeest, giraffe and even hyenas, butchered for bushmeat. Ronald was once a poacher himself. He quits for conservation, but he says others won't. People poach because they have such a difficult life. They have no work, nothing at home, and they see the wildebeest is here for free. So when they take the meat home, it becomes their livelihood. And this is what's at stake, one of the world's biggest natural spectacles, the Great Migration. But the poachers are hungry for meat and they're willing to slaughter them in their tens of thousands. And in a hidden lockup, wow. we are shown the full scale of the fight. 2,000 snares discovered in just two trips. Bushmeat is big business. And the blue cloth represents the mark of the killer. It's his way of saying, this is my catch, this is my money, and tells us these guys are organised. They will put maybe a kilometre long snare line up and uh, each person has got his snares that he puts up, it belongs to him, and what is captured in that snare, that profit comes to him. Their NGO and Tanzania National Parks are keeping the poachers at bay. They spot them from the sky and ambush them in dawn raids. But they say an environmental challenge might still pose a threat. Yes, I think we should be worried about uh, uh, the bigger elements that can, can play a role there, so like water, like um, a very big drought, like diseases. But we should keep the pressure up in doing what we're doing now uh, to conserve the migration. More than a million wildebeest make the great migration what it is, a do or die fight for survival spanning hundreds of kilometers and these rangers hope to keep it moving one life at a time.